Trump's trip to Asia didn't go as well as he'd hoped but went about as bad as every reasonable critic expected. He utterly failed to deliver on the bilateral trade deals that he'd previously promised to forge with the Asia-Pacific nations. All of them are instead involved in the Trans-Pacific Partnership, which Trump unceremoniously withdrew the United States from leaving us in the cold rather than engaging us with one of the fastest-growing economic regions in the world. With his tough trade talk in tatters, President Deals scrambled to find something, anything he could hold up as a victory for his supporters. Bloomberg reports that Trump wheedled and beggared Vietnamese Prime Minister Nguyen Chuan Phuc for his country to purchase more American military equipment and arms. The president was upset that Vietnam was buying much of its foreign military gear from Russia. Trump reportedly told his team that a quick deal of arms sales would improve his approval ratings and help him with his eventual re-election bid. It's a disturbing account and shows that Trump is more concerned about his own popularity than building strong relationships with foreign nations on behalf of the American people. Add your name to millions demanding Congress take action on the president's crimes. Impeach Trump and Pence. He'd rather rush a deal through than spend the time and legwork to actually hammer out something meaningful. Not surprisingly though, the incompetent President Trump was unable to close the deal and left Asia without any major new weapons agreements. The embarrassing incident is just the latest proof that Trump is not the deal maker he pretends to be. His entire persona is a reality television fabrication, originally created to help sell advertising slots, and later retrofitted to con a huge swathe the American electorate into voting for him. Now that he's in the White House, we are seeing just how uniquely unqualified he is to run the world's most powerful nation. He's destroying our relationships with foreign nations, and his idiotic rhetoric and economic decisions will cause lasting damage. The sooner he's voted out of office, the better off the entire world will be.